How cabinets end matters. Early terminations are always strategically managed. The implications of the Fixed Term Parliament Act 2011. My research aims to redefine how we study and understand government terminations. It asks how we can conceptualize these events, how we can understand why they occur and what their consequences are. Governments leave office in a surprisingly different range of ways. In December 1994, for instance, the Italian Prime Minister Berlusconi was forced from office by the withdrawal of a coalition partner. Berlusconi was replaced without intervening elections. Government failure was also an attribute of the termination of the Slovenian Prime Minister Pahor's government. Unlike Berlusconi, however, Pahor was not replaced. He was forced early to the polls. Compare these terminations to the termination in 1983 of Margaret Thatcher's first government. She wasn't forced to the polls like Pahor. She chose to time the elections early because she calculated that on the back of the victory in the Falklands War, she might win a whole new term in office. How cabinets end matters. Early government terminations can create political and economic uncertainty, as we've seen over the last six years with the terminations of the Italian, Spanish, Portuguese and Greek governments. However, early government terminations also influence a number of outcomes. Things like the re-election chances of the governing parties, the chances of the opposition, and even the ability of civil servants to smoothly manage the transition from one cabinet to another. My work focuses on East and Western European cabinets from 1945, or democratization, to the present. That gives me around 600 cabinets to study. The central insight in my work is really that these early terminations are always strategically managed by politicians. The strategic management may concern how do you deal with failure, or it may be driven by a desire to opportunistically take advantage of favorable circumstances. Finally, I've been working with practitioners on the implications of the Fixed Term Parliament Act 2011. This act constrains the discretion of the Prime Minister in calling elections in the UK. Ever since it was enacted, the government, parties um, and the civil service have been trying to understand what the implications of this act will be for elections in the UK, for the management of parties, for the management of government. So this last year has been terrifically exciting. Government terminations are so important and yet there are so many aspects of them that we do not understand. But as I said at the beginning, we've been really trying to redefine how we understand and study government terminations. The opportunity to make important contributions has been what created the buzz and the intellectual excitement that has helped us to take this project forward.